Bro, what's the spirit of the Mosa? Let's get the spirit of the Mosa. John 6, 63. Let me show you something, bro. Let me show you something. You're right, you know, the, the spirit of yeah? the spirit of the most is powerful than money, of course. No, once you roll him with the most, I will good. Alright, read that. Let's see what is the spirit of the most. People listen up. Because in the churches we have a thing to say we have the spirit of God. And we know the spirit of God. But listen to the scripture. This is the spirit of God. Read. The book of John, chapter 6 and verse 63. It is the spirit that quicken it. So it says it's the spirit that quicken it means it's the spirit that will will conform us. Quicken it means to change. It's the spirit that changes us. It's the spirit that will change a man who is a young member. You understand? Or who is a um, a whoremonger to understand marriage and to keep marriage. Understand that bro? You cannot look at your sister to pour out your sister. You just want her to for sex. You understand? It says the spirit of God will quicken means to change you understand read the flesh profited nothing the words that i speak unto you they are spirit and they are life what is the spirit of god yes i'm not read read it for the brother the words that i speak unto you so this is christ speaking it is it's in red so christ is saying the words that i speak unto you they are what they are spirit and they are life so guess what? The words of this Bible, they are the spirit of God. That's right. When we conform to this word, you understand? That's how we become spiritual. Get me that in Romans 7 and 14. That's how we become spiritual as a people. When we conform to the word. In fact, let's get what is spiritual. Romans, 4, Romans 7 verse 14. Read that. The book of Romans chapter 7 and verse 14. For we know that the law is spiritual. What is spiritual? The law. It's spiritual. So the laws of God is spiritual. When we start keeping God's laws, that's how we become spiritual. That's right. When we, when we become our brother's keeper, that's how we become spiritual. When we stop young, bang, young banging and become our, loving our neighbors ourselves, that's how we become spiritual. You understand that, brother? So do you know your nationality according to the Bible? What's your name, bro? Jeffrey, you know your nationality according to the Bible, Jeffrey? Who give you that name, Jeffrey? What's your last name? White, Jeffrey White. Wait, who give you the, the name White? Whose name is White? Who's that name belongs to? Where your father get it from? Big father, where big father get it from? The slave master. You understand? The name that you have, Jeffrey, is not your name. You understand the name that you have was beaten into you. You ever watch Roots? With Toby? Many of you may watch Roots with Toby. And what, what did the slave master do to Toby? Beat Toby and say, Your name is not Toby, your, your name is not what? Kuta Kente. Your name is not Kuta Kente, your name is Toby. Yeah. Jeffrey, Jackie, your name. No, man, let's see the name of Jackie. Isaiah 44 and 5. Isaiah 4. Jeffrey, look at this name. This is the name that God gives us. People of um, Old Harbor, this is the name that God gives you. The, the God didn't give you the name Jamaica. God give, didn't give you the name Sasha. God didn't give you, give you the name White Robinson. Moses. Exactly. Look at others. That's, that's who you should name yourself. Oh, my name is David. David was a mighty prophet. You understand? His brother name is Adam. Adam was the first man who ever made. You understand? His brother is Yahshua. You understand? These are Hebrew names. But let's see the name that God gives you if it's white or if it's otherwise. Read it. The book of Isaiah, chapter 45 and verse 4. For Jacob my servant said, and Israel mine elect, I have even called thee by thy name. I have even what? Call thee by thy name. Let's see what the name that the most I call us by. Isaiah 44 and 5. Let's see the name that God calls us by. Read that. The book of Isaiah, chapter 44 and verse 5. One shall say, I am the Lord. So one shall say, I am the Lord. I belong to God. Read. And another shall call himself. Shall do what? Call himself oh. by the name of this by the name of Jacob, and another shall, shall, shall suffer for him. So 
Scrabs means to write, read. With his hand unto the Lord and surname himself. And so what is a surname? Jeffrey, what is a surname? The last name. So the Bible now, the Bible now is telling us that we should call ourselves at the name of Jacob. We should subscribe. That's on it, like on your birth certificate, the writer name. That name that you write on your birth certificate is a name for, for your, um, it will always be a name on paper. You understand? So the Bible is saying you should subscribe with a hand and write the name on what? And, and to the Lord, and surname himself by the name of Israel. By the name of what? Of Israel. So what's your name, um, Jeffrey? What's your name, Jeffrey? Jeffrey, what's your name, your surname? No, Jeffrey, come on, Jeffrey, man. This, let's see what the Bible says. Again. Jeffrey, let's see what the Bible says. Jeffrey, 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 let's see what the Bible says. Your name again. Read it. Isaiah chapter 45 and verse, chapter 44 and verse 5. One shall say, I am the Lord, and another shall call himself by the name of Jacob, and another shall subscribe with his hand. So another shall subscribe with his hand. Read. Unto the Lord. And surname and surname himself, surname himself by the name of Israel. By the name of what? The name of Israel. So Jeffrey, let me ask again. What's the last name, Jeffrey? What is the last name that God gave you, Jeffrey? They call you white, but what is the name that the most high God gave you, Jeffrey? What's the God-given name, Jeffrey? Come on, read it again for Jeffrey. Come on. And the letter shall subscribe with his hand unto the Lord. And surname. Surname is a what? A last name, right? And sir, so he shall subscribe unto the Lord. And surname is a what? And surname himself by the name of Israel. So Jeffrey, the Bible says we shall surname, give our last name of the name of Israel, our forefather. You understand? So Jeffrey, let me ask you if you understand. What is your true biblical last name? The last name is Israel, brother. That's right. You are an Israelite, brother. You want me to prove you're an Israelite? You want me to prove that? How you know that? Come on now, come on now, Jeffrey. Where you learn that? Oh, yeah, there's no such thing as Jamaican Israelite. Where can find where I can find Jamaican in the Bible, Jeffrey? Jeffrey, let me show you something. Deuteronomy 28 and verse 50. Jeffrey, listen, this is good, Jeffrey. You know about slavery, Jeffrey? You don't know, you never hear about slavery? Our oh, forefather, well, no, when I, I'm talk, we're talking about chattel slavery, when they had us in, in, in chains on the sugar plantation field working. Our oh, forefathers, man, nanny, um, um, nanny and them, yes, man, Paul Bogle, Paul Bogle was a slave. Yeah, exactly. We don't learn. The thing is that it's not that we don't know, it's that, that we don't know, but we, they, we are not being taught. You understand? Our history is not taught because if our history was taught in the schools, we would be able to know our history and, and, and be able to recall our history. You understand? But you can recall that our forefathers who came over here were slaves, right? Okay. So did you know that that was in the Bible? Let's, let's pull it out. Deuteronomy 28 and 15. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28 and verse 15. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. So it says, this was a prophecy, it shall come to pass. It says when Moses was speaking to the Israelites in the wilderness, and he was giving a prophecy that would happen, that would come to pass, it was future things, read. To observe and to do all his commandments. So Moses gave commandments. There cannot be commandments or laws without a judgment. The book of Deuteronomy is a book with laws and judgment. Yes, yes, a lot of them died because, because we didn't keep the commandments. You understand? Up until this day, Jeffrey. Up until this day, we are rebellious. You understand? But read. And the statutes which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. 
So, what? Repeat that. You believe? You believe that? Well, not the Bible. The Bible. All right, all right. That's right. That's right, that's right. That's right that's brother. You with me? I like that. Uh, repeat that, Jeffrey. We're talking to Moses. Give the brother a round of applause. All praise to the Moses. It's your easy it is. Exactly, exactly. So I'm taking my time. All praise to the Moses. So you understand so far. So let's look at some of the curses now, Jeffrey. Jeffrey. Yeah. That's another curse. That's another curse because a lot of people come and couldn't understand this. But you are able to understand. A stubborn ears and a stubborn eye. You should have ear and see. Jeffrey, you know the Bible, Jeffrey. So why are you out here buying and selling on the Sabbath, Jeffrey? You see that? Okay, okay, all right. But well, Jeffrey, let me prove that you are the biblical Israelite. Do you know your forefather was Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob? David, Christ, Paul, the apostle? You know, exactly. Do you know that they were your forefathers? Yes, they were your forefathers. So let's prove that. So it says, if we break God's commandments, it would be under a curse. No, let's jump to verse 60. Read that. Let's look at some of the curse. In fact, let's jump to verse 46. So let's find out something very special about the curses. My sister. My sister. Let's, let's, huh? Jeffrey, Jeffrey, just give me. Yeah, we met the golden calf and we, the most I put us to death. But, so pretty much we still we still on the subject of Moses and the Israelites. So Moses was addressing them. You understand? Well, in the in the wilderness, these are some of the things that and the, the laws that was given. And Moses was warning the people and saying, if you break the laws of God, then curses will come upon you. Well, let's find out something special about the curses of God. Read that. Verse um, 46. Verse 46. And they shall be upon thee. So it says the curses will be upon thee for a sign. Just pray. What do you need a sign for? If you're on NCB right now, the building, there's a sign. NCB. Why do you think it's a sign? What do you think the purpose of the sign is there for? That's a bank. Exactly, for the bank to say, okay, this is how the people are going to know that this is my company. Yeah, and come at it exactly. So, people to identify that the building right here belongs to NCB. You understand? But look at the curses. Alright, tell, tell me what you think. Tell me. I tell you from long time, so don't go against it, though. If you go against it, you're see a sign to show that you're not going to read. No, it says the curses that we're about to read is a sign. So, when you look at the curses, which people the curses are upon, who will those people be? Alright, alright, that's right, that's right. So Jeffrey. They want to see for yourself, we're not believe Moses. They want to see for yourself the curse will come. Exactly, but look, no, no, let's look at some of the curses and I want you, Jeffrey, to tell me who these curses are upon. Alright? So now let's jump to verse 16. Read. We can run in chapter 28 and verse 16. Christ shall do be in the city. So, would you say Kingston is a city? Yeah, Kingston is a city. When you look in Kingston, and even Old Harbor here, it says we will be cursing the city. How are we cursing the city, um, Jeffrey? Who lives in the in the project, in the ghettos? Is it a Chinese man? Is it the white man? Is it the East Indian man? Who? So who does first um, um, curse fit? We, you understand? So we, the curse fit. Curse shall not be in the city. We are the one dwelling in Zinfens, selling, hustling on the street. You understand? That's a curse that cannot be a blessing. You understand, Jeffrey? All praises. No read on. And curse shall not be in the field. Hold up that side. Hold up that side. Hold up that side. Jeffrey. In the field, in the sugar plantation field, Jeffrey. Which man of people was chopping sugar cane for free? Yeah. Who you would call him who? Your people, right? Wasn't it our people in the sugar plantation field chopping sugar cane? Picking cotton? Right? It wasn't a Chinese man. It wasn't a white man. It was our people. So who is that curse like arm um, fitting? We. So remember, when you look at the curses, they shall be as a sign. 
So when we look at the curses, it will identify who the Israelites are. So so far you understand that the curses apply to your people. That makes you who? That makes you who? The Israelites. So you're an Israelite, Jeffrey. You see that? No, let's, let's, get, let's get some more. Let's get some more. Verse 40, verse 68. Jeffrey, how did our forefathers came over here? What word of transportation? Why white never curse? Why curse only from the white? Because they were not given the laws. They were not given the laws of God. Let, all right, let's, let's show you. 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 Let's prove something. Verse 42. Or verse 43. Read up. Verse 43. Verse 43. The stranger that is within thee. So guess what, Jeffrey? When we came out of Egypt, there were strangers. The strangers were referred to the other nation, including the whites, the Chinese, the East Indian man. They came out of Egypt. The mixed multitude came out with us. So Moses was saying to the Israelites, he says, the strangers, if you break God's laws, the strangers is here around you. Go on. The strangers that is within thee shall get up above thee very high and thou shalt come down very low so that one of the curse was that why you think the white man is above us today why you think that the Chinese man is above us above us today why you think that the east indian man is above us today Jeffrey? it's because of this curse god said look look man if you break my laws i'm going to raise up these are the they will be above you they will rule you let's prove that real he shall lend to thee <laughs> so it says these are the strangers the white man the other nations it says he shall lend to thee how in fact, let me ask, who does this bank belong to, Jeffrey? Does it belong to our people? Who? And who else? Alright, so this curse is saying that if you break my law, these are the strangers, I will raise them up and they will lend to you. So when you want a loan, Jeffrey, when you want a, a mortgage, Jeffrey, you understand? When even Jamaica want a loan, where they go to? China, IMF, you ever hear about IMF? International Monetary Fund? That is where Jamaica have to go to get their money from, from the whites, from the Caucasian race. You understand? But hold on, Jeffrey. It says... Huh? Get me Hosea 4 and 6. We don't have knowledge. All right, let's see what the Bible have to say about that. So they say, we don't have... Jeffrey, say that to the people, Jeffrey. We don't have knowledge that so you hear that people let's see if it's Jeffrey said that or let's see if it's the Bible said that read that the book of Hosea chapter 4 and verse 6 my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge you see that Jeffrey he said my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge of knowing who they are because Jeffrey if you know who you are Jeffrey you understand? No, no. If I go, I live right here, you come right here and say I'm going to do something different. When I'm listening, I can tell Mr. Monday things out, I look out for Monday. Yeah. I'm looking out for it. If you come back again, you know, say, hey, we catch up on you. Yeah. We're going to ask questions. But Jeffrey, the knowledge, the knowledge that the most I say that we are destroyed is because the knowledge it's talking about is the laws of God, not knowing who we are as the Israelites and keeping God's commandments. Read up. The book, let's, let's prove the knowledge. The book of Malachi, chapter 2 and verse 7. For the priest's lips should keep knowledge. So the priest is the pastors in the church. It could, they, their lips should keep knowledge. You understand, reader? And they shall seek the Meaning you, Jeffrey, and the people shall seek the law. See what? The law at his mouth. So they shall seek the laws of God, which is the knowledge of God at the mouth of the priest. Like how we are here to teach our people the knowledge of God and the laws of God. So Jeffrey, let me give you a law and a knowledge. Because Jeffrey, why did we come in here in slavery based on what we read? Because we break what? Laws of God. So how do you think we have to come out? No, no. How do you think uh, us as a people are going to come out of this condition? We gotta push the country. We gotta, we gotta figure, come back and see, and see if we. But we have to do what first. See him. Huh? See him. Get me, get me first Kings eight, party six. First Kings eight, party six. Jeffrey, let's show you how you can get, get up out of this. Because the most I never created the sense. The most I created Jeffrey to rule rule this planet. 
You never created for, 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 for sell socks or hustle on the street. Jeffrey, the most high God created you to rule over the, the nations. That's right. To rule that's this right. planet, Jeffrey. That's right. That's what, that's what your purpose is for, Jeffrey. And until we can repent, God, we, we, we are going to stay in this condition. But read that. First Kings 8, 46. The book of First Kings, chapter 8 and verse 46. If they sin against thee, for there is no man that sin it not. What is sin, Jeffrey? Let's get sin for Jeffrey. Hold on. Let's get sin for Jeffrey. So he said, if the Israelites sin against God, no huh? man. They say the white man in bondage. The white man are the earth, brethren. The white man not in bondage. We are in bondage. You understand? The, no, the blacks, the slaves, because the American blacks, the, the Hispanics, and the Native Americans are the Israelites. But hold on, Jeffrey, let me read this. Let's see what is sin. You understand, Jeffrey? So it says, if we sin against God, read. Let's find out what is sin. The book of First John, chapter 3 and verse 4. Whosoever committed sin transgressed also the law. For sin is the transgression of the law. So it says sin is the breaking of God's laws. You understand that, Jeffrey? Go back to 1 Kings 8. So it says if they sin against God, meaning they break God's commandments, we... And don't be angry with them. So guess what, Jeffrey? When we sin, what God ha what, 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 how, what God do? We to be angry. Get angry with us, Jeffrey. And guess what? When God is angry now, let's see what God is going to do. Read. And deliver them to the enemy. So who are you delivered to in sin? Who is the enemy? Which nation of people can look at now and say, that's my enemy? China, who is? Exactly. God send them against you because what? You broke his laws and you sin against him. We as, a people, we as a nation sin against God. That's why the Chinese man and the white man is ruling over us, Jeffrey. Read that. So that they carry them away captives. So didn't the white man carry us away captive, Jeffrey? Would you agree? Yeah, yeah. It happened. 16, 1619 transatlantic slave trade. Right? So they carried them away captive, you read? And to the land of the enemy. So, who is Jamaica belong to? The land of the enemy. Jamaica don't belong to us. You understand? Belong to the English. You understand? They are, they are the ones who own it. Because even if you buy a piece of land now, Jeffrey, what would be on the title is a landholder, not a landholder. You understand? Landholder, you're holding. They can um, take that land at any time. No, we, we were not brought here, Jeffrey, to enjoy this land. We were brought here to be punished for our iniquity. That's you understand? Right. Read on. For our year. Transatlantic slave trading. We went to Europe, the Caribbeans, America, North, Central, South America. So we were scattered. Read. Yet, if they shall be think themselves. So Jeffrey, it says, yet. If we as a people being in our captivity shall we think of ourselves mean to what? To, re to remember who you are, Jeffrey, like how we have been teaching you with. We taught you that your last name is no longer white. Your last name is Israel. And we taught you also that you are an Israelite based on the curses. We have proven that. Read up. In the land where the day were carried captives. So it says we shall repent in the land. We, we, we shall be think of ourselves. Remember who we are in the land. We were carried captives, which is Jamaica, right? Read. And repent. So what is the instruction? And repent. Do you know how to repent, Jeffrey? Let me get, um, I didn't say anything about baptism. I said repent. Let's, how do you repent, Jeffrey? First, um, Acts 3 and 19. Let's show you how to repent. Not only baptism. But baptism as well, we have, we have been taught dipping in water. That's not the baptism. We are instructed to follow. But read that. The book of Acts, chapter 3 and verse 19. Repent ye therefore and be converted so Jeffrey when you repent you have to be converted if you should say you're going to repent Jeffrey you have to be a totally different person you have to be doing a totally different you have to stop doing things that you were doing before you understand so you have to conform to something let's see what will change and bring that conversion Read up. 
Psalms 19. The book of Psalms, chapter 19 and verse 7. The law of the Lord is perfect. Converting the soul. Jeffrey, what will convert you? The testimony of the Lord is sure, making wise the simple. Oh, you become wise is to keep the commandments. Huh? Christ. Yeah, that's right. But Jeffrey, Jeffrey, you're not don't lose me. What I'm trying to show you, Jeffrey, is how to repent. Because we have to repent. Yes. Death will store up for us. If Christ should come and we still in sin, what would happen? Wages of sin is what, Jeff? Exactly. So we cannot continue in sin. Would you agree? Uh -huh. well, the most I got to become younger and younger. All right. We have to become like children. Get me Matthew 18 and 1. That's true. That's true. So it says we have to become converted. Now we're we going to show you a few scriptures. Read that. Matthew 18 and verse 1. Huh? Hold on. Just two more scriptures. Read. The book of Matthew chapter 18 and verse 1. At the same time, came the disciples unto Jesus, saying, Who is who is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven? And Jesus called a little child unto him, and set him in the midst of them, and said, Verily I say unto you, except ye be converted. Except you change, Jeffrey. Except you change doing the things that you were doing. You stop doing the things that you were doing before. And become as little children. Meaning as a child, you're going to instruct a child. A child will listen and take instruction and follow instruction, right? Read up. He shall not enter into the kingdom of heaven. So unless you convert and you repent as a child, you will not enter into the kingdom of heaven. Now let's get um, something that you have to repent of, Jeffrey. Uh, um, Exodus, Exodus 20 and 8. Jeffrey, this is one thing and I'm going to allow you to go. And two scriptures and I'm going to allow you to go. This is life in a virgin. You understand? Read that. The book of Exodus, chapter 20 and verse 8. Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. Six days shall thou labor and do all thy work. So you're working now, right, Jeffrey? And it's a Sabbath, right? You agree? Today's the Sabbath. Today's the Sabbath, right? And you're working, right? You're buying and selling, right? Read. But the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord thy God. In it, thou shalt do, thou shalt not do any work. So in it, thou shalt not do any work. So guess, in order to repent on the Sabbath day, what should you do? Take a risk. Do not come out here to work, Jeffrey. Get me Nehemiah 10, 31 as well. Do not come out here to work on the more. You come out here, gather with your people. Read. Nehemiah 10, 31. Read. The book of Nehemiah chapter 10 and verse 31. And if the people of the land bring wear or any victuals, this, this is considered as wear, including our victuals, our food, or any victuals on the Sabbath day to sell, that we will not buy it of them on the Sabbath. You see that, Jeffrey? That is a law telling you that you cannot buy and sell on the Sabbath. Get me um, Hebrews 10, 25 now. One scripture and then we're going to wrap up. So listen to this, Jeffrey. Read that. Ne um, Hebrews 10, 25. Read. Book of Hebrews chapter 10 and verse 25. Not forsaking the assembly of ourselves. So on the Sabbath, what you should do is to assemble me together with our brothers right here. This, we are your brothers, Jeffrey. Gather with your brothers on the Sabbath. Stop by and sell. The most I will bless you. You just keep the commandments. You understand? Read. I don't know what, Jeffrey. You know that. Read. For if we sin willfully. So it says, if we sin willfully, Jeffrey, you, you are, are keeping the commandment about the Sabbath. Now that you know, you have knowledge of the truth, Jeffrey. Next week, what should you do? Alright, but but if you come if you do otherwise and you come back out here on Saturday, Jeffrey, what would happen? For if we sin willfully, that will be called that will cause sin. If you come out here after you have given the law and you come out here and break that law, that will call that will be called sin. You understand, Jeffrey? Read on. So it's if you sin willfully, read. After that, 
We have received the knowledge of the truth. And you have, to, you have received the knowledge. Today you are receiving the knowledge of the truth, Jeffrey. So next week, Jeffrey, guess who, what kind of man he should be? He should be a righteous man keeping God's commandments. Read. There remain it. Read it from the top of the For if we sin willfully, after that we have received the knowledge of the truth. There remain it no more sacrifice for sins. So Christ will be of none effect to you. Christ sacrificing his life for you will be of none effect if you're living in sin. Read on. But a certain fearful looking. So, uh, but a certain fearful looking for what? For of judgment and fiery indignation which shall devour the adversaries. So you see that, Jeffrey? If you sin willfully after you have received the knowledge of the truth, then all you're looking for is that day when you shall be consumed with fire. Do you want fire, Jeffrey? Do you want more fire, Jeffrey? So what do you have to do, Jeff? Alright. We have bills to go, we are, we are not here selling and buying. Another, another law, Leviticus 21 and 5. One more scripture, we'll wrap it up. Jeffrey, you have a flyer? Flyer finished. Flyer finished. Try to find a flyer for Jeffrey. Flyer finished. Alright, read it. The book of Leviticus, chapter 21 and verse 5. They shall not make violence upon their head. Neither shall they shave off the corner of their beard. So Jeffrey. Here in this law, what you should do? Go to hear from Alright! Give Jeffrey a round of applause. All praise to the most high. Jeffrey, thanks for your time. And I hope, Jeffrey, take my number. Take my number. Because we have a, oh, we have a flyer. This one. All praise. Jeffrey, my number is on the flyer. Jeffrey, we expect to hear from you and we want to see you together with your brothers next week. Yes, we expect to see you next week. We expect to see you next week. Get me Jeremiah 5.25. If you're concerned about your bills, Jeffrey, look at this. Jeremiah 5.25. 5. Jeremiah 5.25. Bring it out. Jeremiah 5.25. Read up. Jeffrey, listen to this up. Read. The book of Jeremiah, chapter 5 and verse 25. Jeffrey, put it in your pocket, man. That baggy I'm going to dash it later or something. Okay, all right, all right, good. Read up. Your iniquities. I've turned away these things. Hold on, so the most I'm talking about the blessing that belongs to Israel. The most I'm saying, because what? Your iniquities have turned away these things. Turn away blessings from your Jeffrey, your iniquity, your sin, breaking the Sabbath, read. And your sins have withholding good things from you. So you don't think that the most I have good blessings for you. But if you keep the Sabbath. You might think that looking most as a lead not your own understanding. Looking at it from your perspective, oh if I don't come out here, I can't sell, I won't have bills. But guess what? The most I see keeping those laws is going to say, okay, Jeffrey is being obedient. Let me bless Jeffrey with a job. You understand, Jeffrey? No man, don't worry about that. The most I will have you. Have you back. But Jeffrey, get me in Matthew, let's wrap up now. Matthew 26. Six. So Jeffrey, call the number on the flyer and get with your people, alright? Jeffrey, Jeffrey, we read the laws on the Sabbath, Jeffrey. So another law in order to repent, Jeffrey. What should you do? On what day? Exactly, exactly. So what? So you should come out of the, the, the line Christian Sunday worship church because they are worshiping the image of the beast. And if you don't come out of that, Jeffrey, you're going to get, you're going to get dead. Shalom. This is Bishop Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. Please subscribe to our YouTube channels. Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us, subscribe to our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and podcasts, and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org.